everyone, my name is TK McCook and I'm going to be talking with you about finding hope in what seems like a hopeless world. Now our world has been struggling with something that has gone on long before the coronavirus and that is a lack of hope, just a lack of hope in society in general. And when God created the world, it was perfect. It was created just in his image and it was absolutely perfect. But then Eve ate the apple and sin entered the world. And because of our sin, each and every one of us faces challenges and trials every single day. Countries go to war, loved ones die, viruses infect thousands of people. And that is already a lot for people to go through and still have hope. And to add to that burden, we have technology. We have access to seeing the whole entire world's problems 24 seven right in the palm of our hand. And that sometimes can be overbearing and so hard to find hope through that. And it's easy to wonder, is there any hope for this lost world? And there's a very simple answer for that. Yes, there is hope and there's a living hope and that is Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us that when we accept Jesus and when we are filled with the Holy Spirit, we will also be filled with hope. And it is important to turn to him when we have doubts or we feel discouraged. And he will always provide and deliver us. So I'm going to read a couple of verses about that. So the first verse is Job 11:18, which says, Having hope will give you courage. You'll be protected and will rest in safety. So not only does God give us hope, hope and a living hope he also gives us courage and the feeling of safety in every situation the next verse i'm going to read is psalms 119 114 which says you're my refuge and my shield your word is my source of hope and that is just an amazing reminder that when we have doubts and when we feel discouraged the one place that we need to be turning to is the word is jesus and the final verse i'm going to read is romans 513, which says, I pray that God, the source of hope, will fill you completely with joy and peace because you trust in him. Then you will overflow with confident hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. So these verses are just listing the things that we get as followers of Christ. We get hope in Jesus. We get courage. We get peace. We get confident hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. So the next time that you're thinking, this is never going to end, I'm never going to get to see my friends, I'm never going to be able to come out of quarantine, just open your Bible, pray, find that hope and that peace in Jesus Christ.